talent you have can go miles with you if only you put it to task. Challenging your capability is what success is all about. Join me as we talk with Lucy Timora. Karibu sana. Ningependa kuuliza, what has been your greatest decision? I've in always life? wanted to be a business woman since my mom is also a business woman. So at a mean we find that urge to be a business lady. Yes. So in business, can you get, tell us a, a back story of what exactly you do in business? In business, I sell bags and I also do clothes. That is ready-made clothes. From, so I free them from Isili, Nairobi. And then I sell at Kibuya Market. Yes. I also do bags. I design by a tailor who makes them for me. Yes. Okay, so you do bags, you design. So you're a designer for bags basically yes with ankara mm -hmm. yes. how did it begin uh, i went for an egyptian expo at uh, aga khan hall mm -hmm. and then uh, nikona bag which had an african print mm -hmm. and i just loved it because i said well, someday i will make bags mm -hmm. with african prints so that's when i came with the design of ankara bags mm -hmm. Uh, business and social work, uh, there's a, a bit of a margin in between. So how did you transition from studying social work into making or designing bags? So I graduated in uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. There's no work. So I said, why would I see it around? So someone, a Kanipeleka for promotion, I used to do in-store activations in supermarkets. Mm -hmm. So I started doing uh, my first promotion I did with Shandara Industry. So I did the promotion for three months for tissue. Then from there, ah, basically, I come Zuri. So promotion is something that comes one month. You stay at home another week. You stay in a couple months mm -hmm. with no job. Mm -hmm. So I used to save up because I wanted to start my own business. And then uh, something comes I kuza clothes before bags came. Mm -hmm. Only learns that clothes. And then with clothes, we learned only me in uh, 2018. Egyptian Expo is when we have to let me also do bags. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so, what about your study, social work? Social work now, come uh, April mm -hmm. this year, a few cities came to Kisubu. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I met this organization called the Kenya Female Adversary Organization, that is Kifiado. Mm -hmm. They were looking for a young lady doing business who can showcase her work during the Afri City Summit. So they gave me a space at uh, Lake Basin Mall. Oh. Yes. So looking at what they do, I said this is what I also studied for. Mm -hmm. So let me go and ask for one of them if uh, they hire people. These are vacant. They want uh, someone or I can volunteer for a start. Mm -hmm. I can't put a chance. I told I did social work and community development and I see that's what you people are also practicing. Mm -hmm. Can I get a chance? And then she told me to go back to the lady who referred me to her mm -hmm. to give me a space in one of the activities they were going to do on that weekend. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the free city is Elisha on a Thursday. So on Saturday, I went to Kifiado. They had a peace work at uh, Vihiga County. Yes before election. So I went with her. She said that I should go with her so that she can see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Yes, then from there. <laughs> okay, shine too. <laughs> yes. That is nice. So is this a talent, designing, is it a talent you had or you trained to have that? I skill? trained. Ah. Yes. So tell us about it. As in the way I saw it, I used to, uh, I'm more in pain interest. Mm. So I want to most of my designs from there. And then unazichora. Then unachora. Tombe yo process. Yo do mina tika kujota mina zataka. I want to make a bag but I don't know how to. I don't know how to design it. What should Nikisha I do? Nikisha owner. Mm. And then nasema. Ah, I can also do the then. 
I just draw. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then what do you do? And then I send to my tailor. I told you I have a tailor. Mm-hmm. She's, he, he's the one who makes it for me. Okay. So I send it. I send the design to him. Then he makes me the bags. Mm-hmm. Yes. So with your bags and kefiadu, how do you intend to balance the two skills? So before kefiadu came in, I used to go to the market from Tuesday to Sunday. But when Kepiado came, now I have to go only during market days, mm-hmm. which is Kisumu is on only on Sunday. So I go to the market only on Sunday. Okay. I rest on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tell us a bit about Kifiadu. What do you do in Kifiadu? What position do you have there? And how has it uh, impacted your business in a way? Okay, Kifiadu is a Kenya female advisory organization. Mm-hmm. They deal with the gender issues. Uh, they did with the community and linkages program, mm-hmm. institutional capacity building, and also sports for change. And they also support young women in business. Mm-hmm. So that's where I come in in Kefiado. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So normally they also deal with people with disability. They include them so that their voice can be heard, mm-hmm. especially on their labor rights. Mm-hmm. Yes. So in Kefiado, mostly I'm always in the field. I go and talk to the young girls in schools about uh, sexual reproductive health rights. Uh, in terms of sports, we also go to schools. We talk to just a group of girls who need to nurture their talents. So you go to school, you identify talents, and then they nurture from there. Okay. Yes, that's actually what we've been doing. Interesting. Yes. And uh, who are your target audience? When selling on bags. Mm-hmm. Uh, the working class, the young uh, girls, the youths, mm-hmm. because most of them want to travel. Mm-hmm. So the working class need uh, laptop bags. Mostly, you know, most of them want to laptops. The college girls, they yeah, want laptop bags and mostly they like to travel. Yes, because they do laptop bags and uh, traveling bags. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are there any other products you work with or is it just bags? It is just bags and clothes. And clothes. Mm-hmm. What type of clothes? Ready-made. Oh, yes. Okay. Then so, I travel from Isili. Oh, Isili, yes. all the way. Yes. So, how do you manage the transport and all that? So, Isili, we have to buy our tops, our dress, our skirts. So, every time I have a new kit, I talk to me. You select what you want, you send the money, and I will come to you and I So, every Thursday, always try every Thursday, you make an order. And then on Friday, you have your goods. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm interested to know how did you network to with people to in Isili, yet you are based in Kisumu. I mean, the number, the <laughs> number of tops, number of dresses, how do so, you know? So, I was in Kisumu, I was in the market before I went to Tutolewe 20 Stadium. I was in the market before I went to Hey. And you know our mama and our father, <laughs> biashara kadi biashara ni biashara. Mm. So every Thursday we used to travel to Nairobi. Mm. Yes. Okay. So so na jo wana na three hundred thousand. O kuto na yofu tiba fifty yako. Yes. Okay. So yeye yako tunu na tumia. So ilikuwa tu constant, constant. Now what we see, if you go every Thursday, they know you. Mm. So they can even give you goods on credit. Okay. Yes. So during December, they can give you goods worth even a hundred k. You sell. Then you send them their money. Yeah. Because they know at the end of the day how to put you still go back to them mm-hmm. to get the goods. Mm-hmm. Yes, so that's how we number each and every person. Uh-huh. Yes. A lot of young people Wakimaliza Shule, they intend to be in offices, get employed there, but how come you decided when the Kibuyo market kukana, the ladies when you are zango? It's very hard getting a job. Uh-huh. But then you may apply jobs in uh, NGOs in your family money. You may take care of your family. If you try to volunteer, you can get a job then. There was nothing. Mm-hmm. So I said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to tell my mother to get a job. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. I said, I'm going to get my own money from doing something. Yeah. Plus my mom is an inspiration. She's a business lady. So... I took it from her. Nali mm. kuelewa. Yes. yes. And uh, about that experience, unaketi na ladies who have wamekoma kwa biashara and you're a youth member mwenye maybe I may have just entered. How was the experience? How did they take you? How was the reception? It was good. They will always encourage you. Those women, they mm. will encourage you. Watu kumbi, ata mimi nilianzia hapa. Mm-hmm. So, ata we anzia tu hapo siku moja utafika mailu nataka. 
Mm. Bora tu kuna hiyo determination that unataka kufika hapo. Mm. Yes. What about your peers? Maybe your friends unaomba I mean, mimi nimeenda market nitakuja maybe saa fulani and fulani. How did they take it? Most of my friends actually me pendi mwaingiza kwa business. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so since niko na wao me can't come. Ah, anza na kidogo. Mm. Leta vitu zako na mix na zangu on Sunday. We sell, you get your money, you go home. Mm. Yes. How about the clientele? Where do you get your clientele from? Mm. from the market. Mm. Clothes mm. ni from the market. Mm-hmm. Mm. In what way? si wakikuja the pass by the call karibu customer karibu customer if good things mm. client wako atakuwa wako kwa kila siku mm. atakupigia hata simu nataka unyeke hii na hii na hii then unaitwa kwa gari hiyo mm. yes. karibu customer karibu customer i see in many markets unapata kuna wale ambao wame, adi wametengeneza nyimbo mia so mia so mia so do you do that you don't do that uh-huh. you ni kwa watu wa mtumba okay yes so, watu wa ready made there's no hakuna hiyo noise wow. ndio tu customer kikuja so ready usha display cloth yako kwa dami uh, ataona sema eh hey, ni bamba how okay. much is this yes interesting then on sunday we sell on wholesale price mm-hmm. yes because mtu atakuja chuketa dozen nzima ama half a dozen mm-hmm. yes that's how we sell and uh, along this journey of uh, being in the market selling the bags and the clothes how has that journey been from the beginning yeah, it's not easy at times unauza tu vizuri at times there's no sale but december you will sell <laughs> you will sell hata kama kuna zile fagi za kitabu utauza uh-huh. yes but january there is no sale mnaka mm-hmm. tu kiuza thao hiyo siku nasema umeuza but in december uh, you sell you sell a lot mm-hmm. but as long as you have if you have stock you will sell why is it so because utakuwa na variety si ndio mm-hmm. mtu anataka ina ina he have all the variety and in clothes at wiki at at you just do wasiana to a mix mm-hmm. yeah. so in december mostly watoto ndo waina henga mm-hmm. so ikifika december i change i bring more of watoto to ladies mm-hmm. yes and uh, what if i am a customer but siko available do you also do delivery yes okay mm-hmm. how do people get to reach you through that see customer kikuja atachukua namba hata kitu mzuri na ulimuuzia na fair price mm-hmm. atachukua namba atakupigia simu atakwambia kama wenye wanatoka bondo mtakwambia ni yake hii na hii na hii they send you the money na wake up na pena venye so you so <laughs> yani relax saying it you're proud of what you do i love i love doing you're proud of what you do actually i wish the gifaja says ah yes <laughs> okay and uh, are there any challenges you've encountered since you my little shule you start your business and right now kalimefika oh, yes when i was at tukitolewa kibwe tukapeleka kwa stadium mzigo wangu ilipotea yes boots worth 50k ilipotea so like Ah uh, subuhi nimefika Sunday hiyo wakati I, before I joined Kopiado. So nilikuwa naingianga from Tuesday to Sunday. So biashara ilikuwa mbaya nikasema acha ni relax nje tu Sunday. No Sunday in the morning. So biashara by 5 unafaa kwa ushafika market because hiyo ndio wakati the wholesalers wanakuja. So kuenda mzigo wangu haiko. The whole day so mzigo wenyewe nilikuwa nimetumana the previous day ndo niliuza. Peke yake zigo yangu ya kila siku haikukoa so nikangoja jioni time zigo zinarudishwa ndani sikupata on monday bado then come on tuesday kama mzee alishachukua mzigo amekalia tu atanaongoja mwenyewe kuja ulizi mm. Mm. Okay. but at the end of it nilipata nilipata yes. how how did you feel like did you <laughs> feel like <laughs> acha niachane na hii kazi after zimepotea eh hey, nilisikia vibaya sana uh-huh. sana So what what how take us through your headspace at that moment you're a young person mizigo yako imeenda around 50k what do you do from there so certain and yao baba tu wasoko tena ndo walinisaidia as in kelele yao unajua sasa mimi kupiga kelele nilishinda but hao mama walipiga kelele wakasema hiyo mzigo lazima itapatikana mm. and at the end of the through them nilipata hiyo mzigo kama yenge kwa wao sikifuata hiyo mzigo yes any other challenges any other challenges mkisha mm, kwa na customer kila siku mm-hmm. anaweza kuambia umweke goods on credit ai umweke unasema ah ni wangu kila siku atatuma pesa ikifika thursday wewe unataka ku make order amezima simu mm. sasa ujiujifanye aje mm-hmm. but so far 
challenge you see more sana and uh, what 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 ninini unaweza sema is the secret to keep those challenges from pulling you down as you continue with your business kwa to constant kwa kujua like this is the amount niko na mm-hmm. this is what i need sell and then every day una you calculate uh, what you use and the profits mm. so that kusikumane huko time ya ku make uh, orders kuna kitu fulani when uh, let's say someone especially a young person akianza biashara anaona hai anapata pesa nyingi so they go squander the money unapata hana another thing ya kununua the, the capital so what can you tell such a person how do you maneuver through it so mimi every sunday since nafanya every sunday mm-hmm. nikisha uza say you know the amount nilitumia ku order mm-hmm. i will subtract from what ni sell and then i profit yangu nilifungua sako so i'll send it to the sako yes so ni baki na hii yenye najua hii ndo tena nta tatumia yes that's how i normally do it yes did you have any help deciding naenda kufungua sako ama ilikuwa tu your idea nitaenda kufungua sako ah sako ilikuwa ni idea rafiki yangu mwingine alishakuwa sako for a long time so akaniambia ah ingia kwa sako sako inaweza kupatia loan kama unataka ku boost biashara yako tena ni mbaya Yes, that's how we learned to fungua sako. Mm-hmm. So we fungua business na elimu sako for my son. I have a son. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, I'm a mother of one. Nice. That's interesting. Uh you're talking so passionately about your business and uh your day to day Sunday kwenda market. If mimi nikuje nikwambie nataka kukupea kazi sasa hivi, will you take it? Yes. Yeah. So as long as me niambi a Sunday angu na itabaki tu ya biashara. Okay, yes. so you're willing to go. I will. Nice. Yes. Open the spirit. Yeah, you know yeah. much people who are like they're doing the thing now they're like me me stuck employment. I am yeah. my own employer. I so, will. <laughs> so una talk about it. Yes, I will. Wow. So what are your future plans for this business and your career? Someday to have my own uh, shop in a mall. Ah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so bring part your kids to ladies na bags. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, what do you intend to call this business of yours in a mall? Feeling tea collection. Pardon? Feeling tea collection. Pardon tena? Feeling tea collection. Oh nice. My son is called Philip. Uh-huh. I'm Timora. Wow. So it's feeling tea. Till and tea. Yes. So you intend to share the skill to your son as well. Yes. Actually next year God willing kama pesa kutakuwa nitafungua tu collection tu ya mtoto wangu as in your pesa ndangi tu kwa account yake <laughs> pesa itakuwa yes. itakuwa if you yes. have the will trust me kila kitu inafunguka thank you and uh, lastly what would you tell someone who feels stuck amemaliza shule ako na certain skill ama ako na certain degree but haoni penye anaweza enda since as you said hakuna kazi what would you tell such a person of what you are passionate about come you are passionate about kama sai most people in the kwa makeup industry mm-hmm. you are a young lady hauna kazi lakini know how to do makeup bonus siende ufanyie 1 2 3 get pesa kidogo eh kitu wenye uko passionate about is what you should go for usiongoje mm-hmm. at employment employment kupata kazi ni ngumu sana mm-hmm. yes mimi mm-hmm. i'm just struck by how happy and proud you are of doing your business in Kibuye i'm so happy and i would uh, ask you this if you are 10 years younger right now what would you say to yourself 10 years younger right now uh-huh. <laughs> i'm so proud of myself <laughs> as in nganza hii kitu mapema sana yes long before when uh, my dad used to tell us that ukimaliza uh, shule kupata kazi ni ngumu kasi tulikuwa like no tutapata kazi Stop, yeah. yes immediately after form 4 she was like go and do beauty ukue hata na salon yako at least utakuwa unapata pesa through mkono yako mm. and we were like no so only my sister first born way tunalienda kufanya that course mm. na ilimsaidia before apate kazi mm. yes because he was always willing to give us the capital but sister tulikuwa tunaona like no tutapata kazi Wow, mimi nimependa your zeal and strength of going at it 
Mtakana yeah. ha wa mama watanifunza na nitaenda mbele. I love yes. that. I love that. Those love women will always encourage you. Mm. Mm. Mtoto kama iko chini anakuambia tufanya tu. Wow, I have loved your zeal. I have loved your strength and your passion about what you're doing. I've loved that so much and I would love to thank you for coming and congratulations as you keep soaring high. Thank you. You out there, you have this you have this thing that you have you want to do unataka kuanza hiyo biashara unataka kuanza hiyo restaurant you just want to do something go at it with passion go at it with energy when they kind of how mentors look for the mentors whoever they are when you watakwambia fanya they will fight for you vitu zako zikipotea they will shout for you watapiga hiyo kelele look for those people na watakupeleka mbele this has been youth in action i am nyangweso green This is the way to do it. This is the way